Good morning, folks. It is still scorching hot in the United States with a slight chance of isolated catastrophic thunderstorms. Was it a 7.0, a 6.2, 6.5, 5.9? We saw measurements all over the place, but let's just say a very large quake struck New Zealand yesterday, and yes, to all who sent us messages, there was significant space weather plus a full moon, possible correlation yesterday. There was an explosion at an oil facility in Thailand, south of Australia, saw a moderate tremor where bigger ones have hit before. 900 people have bird flu in Bolivia. It's H1N1, luckily not the ultra deadly strain. One county in Florida has seen 200 new sinkholes after Debbie. That's just one county. And yes, they're actually having similar sinkhole and landslide issues along the Manitoba-Saskatchewan border. It seems we go a week without, then get two gamma bursts close together. The second one came last night from almost directly opposite the sun. Speaking of the sun, raise your hand if you want this lady to chill out. Corona holes, M flare, ejecta. Looking at the last 24 hours, please note the thin dark line of plasma that was the southeastern prominence days ago. She held on, never erupted, and we need to hope she continues to hold on. The flash here is the latest M flare from just hours ago. Active region 11515, as observed yesterday, has finally been given the delta label by NOAA. On the left, you see black umbra within orange penumbra. On the right, when red and blue are both inside a penumbra, it's delta, dangerous, and the solar watch is on. But there's more. That dark area turning away on the right is the massive coronal hole that was facing us days ago. As she turns away, we see her solar wind stream dying down as observed here. You may remember we watched her approach on Stereo B before she was visible from Earth, positioned off to the right here. Stereo B always shows what's coming, and now, as then, a beast approaches. A concoction of active regions that look dangerous and are just now turning into Earth view. Yesterday, the southern portion of this active region fired off an eruption bigger than we've seen in a very long time. Did I mention the solar watch is on? Let's give these blokes a proper welcome to the solar disk. That's the news, folks. Be safe.